Hello everyone, today I will show you the internal structure of the mobile air conditioner. Look at its cooling capacity, it is 3500 watts, which is 1.5 horsepower. The refrigerant is R410A. The weight of the whole machine is 28 kilograms, which is equivalent to the weight of an external unit of 1.5 horsepower split air conditioner. This is its control panel. There are a total of three modes of cooling, air supply, and dehumidification. This one has no heating function. Let's take it apart and have a look. This is its filter. Because it has been used for a long time, there is still a lot of dust. We can clean it later. As you can see, the internal structure is very compact. This is its heat exchanger, which uses copper tubes. This is its compressor, covered with a layer of soundproof cotton. Then this package is a gas liquid separator, mainly to prevent the liquid refrigerant from returning to the compressor. This fan is responsible for heat exchange between the condenser and the evaporator. This is its drain. This plastic shell is its sink. This mobile air conditioner is drain free. Some mobile air conditioners are water storage type, so they need to pour water regularly. If some are straight, a drain pipe will be connected to the outside here. The working principle of this free drainage is very simple. If the plug is in normal use, install it. When the air conditioner is cooling, the temperature of the evaporator is relatively low, so condensed water will be generated and flow into the drain tank. Because the drainage groove is sloped, the condensed water of the evaporator will flow to this position. The end below the condenser is plugged into the sink. The condenser will be hot when it is working, relying on its own temperature to evaporate the water below, so that the function of no drainage can be realized. However, sometimes the humidity in the room is too high, too much condensed water is produced, and it is too late to evaporate, which will cause the water to overflow. There is a water level switch in the sink, if the water is full, the machine will stop working. This mobile air conditioner is fixed frequency, and the throttling parts use capillary tubes. Inside this iron box is its power board, and the one below is its control board. The motor here controls the swing blade. There is a temperature probe here to detect the temperature above the condenser. Here, there are two sensors, one is used to detect the indoor temperature, and the probe is placed at the air inlet of the evaporator. There is also a water level switch used to detect the water level. If it indicates that the water is full, it needs to be drained manually. The above is the general structure of the mobile air conditioner. What do you think? Is it worth buying? 